guys hope you are doing well so in today's video we are going to be doing a lot so i'm going to be doing duck nails and i'm also going to be doing this viral bug nails yes you heard me correctly i'm going to be doing some 3d bug nails on my nails so i'm using my mccart stiletto nail tips so i'm just going to be figuring out which ones i want to use so this is what it's looking like and I'm going to figure out which nail each of them are going because I have to cut off this tip so it looks good on the pinky nail and it's wide enough to cover the whole nail and I can make it a little long this looks good and it's long enough what do you guys think let me know so yeah, I'm just going to do that and figure out which nail tip is for which nail because in reality, this nail tip is supposed to be on the middle nail, but I'm going to be turning it around and using it on probably this nail. So yeah, I'm just going to do that for all of the nails. So I picked out my sizes and I am unsure if I did the right thing because this pinky nail it's gonna look like this is it too wide I'm not sure the rest of the nails are going to look like this it looks good you know but for the pinky nail I'm not too sure about this nail is gonna look like this but it will have some spaces on the sides so I have to fill that up with poly gel so I'm thinking for the pinky nail to use a smaller nail because the pinky nail is looking too grown up with this nail like it looks like the rest i'm not sure i'm so confused i don't know which one to use like i'm thinking it's too broad for this nail maybe this one would be a little better since it is on the pinky nail so i'm thinking that so yeah i think i need to, to change it back because i don't like how like it looks here i think i need to change it back so i'm going to do it. so if i don't like it then you know i will be having on peel off base coat so I could just remove it but I don't want that headache you know I want to do it right the first time oh no so I'll just measure I think here yeah, would be okay so right maybe here what do you guys think so I'll do that for all of the nails This one is a little narrow on the sides, but I think I could finesse this one, maybe. I hope I can. I did duck nails before, but I can't remember exactly what I did. So this is technically new to me because I cannot remember what I did. Like how I did it and if I know it turned out really good, but yeah i don't know now i'm just removing the markings that i made I am really excited and nervous at the same time to do this nail set because it's a lot of work that's going to go into this nail set and I'm not really that prepared for all this work but I just thought I would just do it you know I was really excited to do it but this nail set is a lot all that nail art and stuff I'm excited but stressed all at the same time so I am going to be applying some sunscreen to my skin to protect my skin since it's going to be in the lamp often then my uv gloves for added protection so i am going to apply my peel off base coat off camera so i'll be back shortly so after applying my peel off base coat i did use the diy critical oil and 
gel top coat peel off base coat for this so now i'm going to be applying my nail tips i'm using gel base coat so i would flash cure each nail for 15 seconds then when i'm finished i would cure for 30 seconds make sure this is far away from this nail lamp It looks really wide but it doesn't look horrible so I don't know if I should keep it or not It looks good. All this space here, I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but pray for me, guys. So I'll cure this for 30 seconds. Then I'm just going to file this to make it a bit flatter because it's really thick. I have to be very careful because I have on peel off base coat. Then I'm just going to buff the surface of the needles. I'm just going to apply gel base coat to all of the nails and I would cure that for 30 seconds. So I'm using rubbing alcohol as the solution and I'm just going to be doing some basic poly gel application right here. What I'm going to be using here is a white poly gel and a nude poly gel from Macart. So I'm going to start with a white poly gel because it's only going on one nail. So I'm just cleaning the brush right here. Then I'm starting on the ring nail. So I'm just going to be distributing that, making sure that it's thin around the cuticle area. I'm very nervous about how I'm going to bridge this gap right here because I cannot remember what I did the last time and I'm too lazy to go back and look at my video. <laughs> so let's be surprised and happy, hopefully happy when we get it done again because i'm not about to be sad trying to figure this out okay it's going to work again whatever i did the first time i'm going to do it again although i don't remember what i did oops well it seems let me go and talk too soon forget it <laughs> Just gonna add some gel base coat just to make it a little softer.
So as you can see, it's kind of touching my skin, but that is where the gap is. So I guess I will have to file that off. I cannot really move it. I'll try my best to get it from, to stop it from touching my skin, but I cannot really move it. I'll have to file that off a bit when it's time to file. So I will cure this for 30 seconds. So this is how it looks. And it's all coming back to me now how I did it the first time with the duck nails because I did use stiletto. And this same thing happened. I had to file off these things when I was finished with the nails. So yeah, I'm going good so far. Fingers crossed I finished the nails and they look really good. So I have to apply a second bead to build the apex and stuff. Some more gel base coat. White poly gel is the hardest poly gel to use. Well, white and black poly gel. Actually, white and black in poly gel or acrylic or gel polishes, so difficult to use. So I would cure this for 30 seconds. Now on to the rest of the nails, I'm going to be using a siesta. So this is what the nails are looking like when I'm finished. They look really good. The underside of the nails though, as you can see here, I'll have to file those off, although they aren't really touching my skin, but I'll just file them off just to shape it up a little, like so that, you know, it looks good from the underside. So yeah, this is how it's looking and they look really good. So now I'm going to use some rubbing alcohol to remove the stickiness from the nails and I would file these nails off camera because I don't want this video to be too long since I do have a lot of nail art to do so I will file these nails off camera. So this is how the nails are looking after filing. So what I'm going to do now is apply some cuticle oil to all of the nails this helps to remove a lot of the scratches i realize so i'm just doing that
then I'm going to use a buffer. So now, since I'm going to be doing a lot of nail art, I'm going to be applying some more sunscreen to my skin. And I'm going to put back on my gloves. On second thought, I'm not going to put back on the gloves. It's very difficult to get it on with these duck nails. So I have a lot of gel polishes on the side here. A lot of them because I don't know which one I want to use yet. So I'm thinking this one for now. It's called Lucky Bamboo. And I'm going to be... Well, I'm not even sure how to do it, to be honest. I just hope I can do it. <laughs> So this and what else? I'm thinking the black just to make a darker green. Okay, it's okay, but that's not what I really wanted. Maybe if I just add some more of this green. So I think I got it. This one right here, I think. So I mixed Lucky Bamboo with Sail Away to get that. That was a lot of work. So I'm hoping that it worked. So before doing anything, I'm just going to apply some gel top coat because I'm going to be doing a lot of nail art and that means I will be making a lot of mistakes. If I didn't apply any gel top coat to the nails, it the gel polishes could get in the cracks and crevices of the nail and stain the nail. And I don't want that to happen, so the gel top coat will protect it. I could apply gel base coat, but gel base coat is really sticky and I'm not really feeling for that stickiness right now. So I will do this for all of the nails and cure for 30 seconds. Actually, I made a mistake. I'm not supposed to apply none to this nail. So it's only these three nails. So I will cure that for 30 seconds. So on the index nail, I'm going to do a French nail with the green gel polish that I mixed. So this is after two layers of the gel polish. Now I'm going to try to draw a leaf, okay? So these are colors that I mix. I cannot even remember which colors, which gel polishes I use. So I'm just going to try this, okay? So 
So when I'm finished drawing that, I'm just going to blend it. Then I would like do this. And then I'm just going to feed it out. And I will cure this for 30 seconds. Then I'm going in with this one. Then I do the same thing. Oops, I forgot to do it here. There it is. Oh well. So we're basically just diluting it so that there isn't this harsh line. I really hope this nail turns out good. My nail inspo for this nail is C's tutorial. She did one like this but i don't know what i'm doing like i don't foresee this nail looking as amazing as hers to be honest but what am i to do so i'll cure this for 30 seconds and then i'm using this one here i can't remember i was going crazy trying to get like the different shades so i was just doing a lot So I will cure this for 30 seconds. So does it look like a leaf? I don't know, whatever. So I'm going to apply gel top coat. Hopefully when I apply the gel top coat, it would look like a leaf. Fingers crossed. Okay, guys, let's see. So I'll cure this for 30 seconds. Then I'm just gonna do this and cure for 30 seconds. And then use the black just to make a half a circle. Then the leg. I don't know how many legs ladybugs have, but I'm just doing four. then some dots and some dots on the back Yay. so yeah so this is what the nail is looking like it looks so good so I'm using my model one's rhinestone glue and I'm just gonna dip it in here Get a little bubble and make like a 3D effect. Wow, this is so freaking cool. Wow. My head is about to explode because like I cannot comprehend how cool this is. I'm like, really? I did that? Like, damn. I feel so proud. Wow, look at this. So I'll cure this for 30 seconds and come back and do the head of Ladybug. 
and I don't know what I'm gonna do with the legs because I like it shiny but I need to top coat it should I top coat those little legs or leave it like that hmm I'm not sure so I'll cure this and come back then I'm just going to get the head a little Yay. I'll cure that for 30 seconds as well. And then some droplets. Like. Water droplets. So I'll cure this for 30 seconds. So one nail done, four more to go. <gasps> no! I just filed off that little piece there. So I'm using this electric rose. I want a light pink, okay? It needs to be light. I don't want it too bright like it is right here. So I'm gonna use some white addict just to tone it down. It's a really light pink, but not super light though, but it's light enough. You guys see? Damn. I don't understand why y'all can't see it, but yeah, it's a light pink. So I will cure this for 30 seconds and I'll do another layer off camera and cure that as well. Wait, did I say 60 or 30? Either way, it's going to be cured. So guys, I purchased this, okay, to do my Aurora and all those sort of stuff. So... So yeah, it's neon bright, or so they say, I'm not sure because they don't look neon to me. So yeah, I'm just going to use this pink on this nail. And this nail is kind of rough. I don't understand why it's so, like, it has a lot of bubbles in it, probably from mixing two gel polishes. So I'm just going to use this and pat it in here. Yeah, I like it. So I might top coat it matte for now. And if I don't like it, I will switch back to glossy. So matte top coat again. So I will cure this for 30 seconds, then I'm going to use my Model Wand glue gel and I'm going to do a little bit of 3D on this nail.
so I will finish it off off camera and cure for 30 seconds so this is what the pinky nail is looking like now I'm going to apply some gel base coat to my middle nail and my thumbnail and cure for 30 seconds So I'll cure this for 30 seconds and then do another layer. Since it was so bright, I'm going to mix it again. Hopefully it doesn't create all that bubbles. Because I'm not seeing any lighter pink gel polishes anywhere. I'll do this again. This is good. So I'll do two layers, carrying each layer for 30 seconds. So I did three layers on the middle nail. Now I'm applying some matte top coat to the middle nail and the thumbnail and curing for 30 seconds. And I think I have to shape this nail because it got a little out of hand. So I'm just going to shape this nail because the gel polish kind of messed up the shape. So I'll just apply a little more gel polish to here. Then, then I'm using the yellow eyeshadow and just rubbing it into this skin. Now, I'm going to apply some more matte top coat to the nails and cure for 30 seconds. So guys, I'm going to be doing the 3D now, well, I already started, but like this one, it's going to be a little crazy. I'm going to be doing a lot, right? A lot. So I'm using this solid builder gel. And, oh my goodness, everything is falling all over. I have so many open gels on my desk right now. Crazy. So anyway, I'm just going to pick up this then um, it's not working too good I thought it was gonna work it's working a little but it's thick that's why so I'm gonna put this down here it's not working like I wanted it to so I have to touch it unfortunately so let me redo this. Uh, let me throw that away. So I'm just going to pick up another bead and roll it. And do this again and roll it. 
So the bottom would be a little thinner, but not too thin though. So I'm going to put that here. Yay. And squeeze the top. Then I need something pointy. Oh, yes. Then using this, I'm just going to pinch it now. Why is here? Okay. I'm just going to pinch the top here. And pinch the other top here. Just to make two. Oh, this is a kind of slug, I think this is called. I'm not sure, but some kind of bug. <laughs> Yay. Then, after the two little antenna thingies. Well, I don't know. So, yeah. This is my buggy bug bug. Buggy bug bug. Does it look like a bug? I like it. So I will cure this for 30 seconds. Then I'm using this round and I'm going to mix it with my top coat. Mix that because I want it to be translucent. Something like this. Then I'm just going to paint this. And I would cure for 30 seconds and then for the darker areas I'm just going to okay then I'm using my blooming gel and also I'm using this black gel polish so I put down some of the black and oh so much is going on and Oh my goodness, so much is going on. So I'm using the blooming gel and I'm just placing it all over the the slug, the snail, whatever it's called. Whatever this bug is called. Then using a dotting tool and the black, I'm just going to add some of the black. Yay! And I would cure that for 30 seconds. Then I'm going to use the blooming gel again. And do the same thing for the brown. Oh, it looks real. So I have to top coat this, but I will wait until I'm finished with all of the nails to top coat. So now I'm going to be doing a caterpillar. OMG, I'm doing a caterpillar. So I'm just going to use this. And I'll place it right here and roll it okay then i will cut it cut you see one two three four five six seven. so we're going to eat but each of them gets a little bigger three four So the five and the six are small. 
So this small, this small, the middle, two are big. Okay. I have to use my fingers, guys, but don't do it. So I will roll it into circles. So these three, well, these two are the biggest. So I'm going to try to get another two that's big. This is okay. So I think I have it there. So we just line them up. I should do this on my nail, you know. I think I should. Um, so we're just gonna. So we're just gonna line them up on the nail. trying to get them in a certain way but it's very difficult to do this because it doesn't really stick to the nail like it's supposed to like come on okay it looks like it's sticking wow i lost it okay i know what i'm gonna do so anyway let me do it on this okay so it looks okay let me try to shape it up and stuff so that it looks like a um caterpillar so yeah i'll cure this for 30 seconds while it is curing i'm gonna try to make the colors that i had before i can't remember exactly what i used but i'm gonna try so I'm going to do this one, then I'm going to do one with these three. Um, I want to get a light green. So I'm going to mix this. Okay, this is the light green. I have to put a little more in this. Although this is a light green too, I could have just used that, but it's different when you mix all of them. It makes a better green. Good. This is it, I believe. And let me see this one. Nope, this is nothing. Okay, so I got the green that I want. I also want to use this on my way. Great. So this is what it's looking like. Let me see. Crap. It's kind of like ah it cured weird. So watch it. Oh my goodness. Could I bend it? No, oh, it breaks. <laughs> okay, I have to do this over on a nail. I wonder if I buffed the surface of the nail if it would stay. It seems to be staying. I'll do the rest off camera, it's stressing me out. So this is how I got it to look so far and I think this is good enough, I'm fed up. Like I'm really fed up. Is it too big though? Like, or is it good enough? I'm not sure. It does look like a caterpillar, right? Alright. I'll cure this for 30 seconds. Then I'm using the green gel polish that I mixed a while ago. And I'm just gonna just apply it to the whole thing.
this actually looks like a bug. It looks gross. <laughs> so I'm using my blooming gel on top of it. I only did one layer, by the way, of the green because I'm not going to do that again. I'm fed up. So yeah, this is the blooming gel. Then I'm just going to dip my dotting tool in this color and so I will cure that for 30 seconds then I'll do the same thing I'll apply another layer of blooming gel and do the sides and apply some black so some more blooming gel mainly to the sides of the caterpillar I might do a side at a time, one side at a time, because I'm not sure. So I'm just going to, oops, a little, a little big, but whatever. Yeah, good enough. I'm not doing this again. <laughs> so this is what it's looking like. So in the reference picture, Oh, I forgot to tell you that these nails, I saw it on Pinterest, these two. So I would leave the picture somewhere in this video. I probably already left it at the beginning of this video. So yeah, you all know already. <laughs> so I'm just going to be placing some dots. Because the nail inspo i think they had some kind of 3d effect going on here but i'm not doing that crazy i'm already tired so yeah i'll cure this so yeah this is how it's looking so i have to remember to top coat these 3d bugs i hope i don't forget so on this nail i'm going to be doing a 3d flower yay so guys i'm very tired right now like tired oh my goodness all this work this is a lot you know this is a lot i love it it looks amazing but i'm tired so 3d flower i think i might do a voiceover for this snail because I, i'm tired of talking
So after curing the 3D flour, I'm just going to be using some iridescent chrome powder on the 3D flour. I didn't want to apply any gel polish to the 3D flour. I felt like it just needed some chrome powder. Then I'm just going to top coat all of the 3D nails. So before curing the nails, I am going to be applying some silver caviar beads to the 3D flower and then I would cure for 30 seconds. And this is how the nails are looking. And I almost forgot that I wanted to apply a butterfly to the pinky nail. So that's what I'm doing right here. And I flash cured it for 5 to 10 seconds. Then I cured for 30 seconds. So this is how it looks guys. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. And don't forget to like the video. So I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.